Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am in Huazong University in Wuhan, China, and I am with Gao Mei Li, and we are going for breakfast. So I will have an interview with him. I will have a lecture in his department. Uh, we'll have a tour in the campus. So stay connected, and we will see you later. Really? Dinner. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Then we go. Piper Do Cafe. Ah, famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I want to see. Okay, thank you. Bon appétit. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm going to. Very, very good. So, I have you. You can record. Ah. I have you. So it's really delicious. I like yeah. it. It's very good. So it's like peanut butter. There's peanut butter inside. Sometimes I eat uh, the rogamian every two days. One, one. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. But now. So we make the bike now or yeah, 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 yeah. better? Yeah. I have you. So I am at the School of uh, Urban Planning and Architecture at Huazong University in uh, Wuhan and I'm starting today, we have some presentation, I will give some presentation, I meet a team of researchers and PhD students. Also we have a whole initiation meeting in this uh, session So I'm looking forward to looking at the interesting uh, practices and I will keep you updated. Yeah, I will always taste her. We compared the we compared the measured data and 
of simulated data to validate our simulation tools. The results simulated from the building engine model were compared with the measurement collected during field experience. This picture shows that variations of building energy consumption of office building mass by mass for year 2019 and uh, demonstrated clear that the simulated results agree well with the measurements. So I'm going to present to you the uh, latest project. Oh. And it's a cost optimal analysis for uh, nearly zero carbon. So the European Union wants to achieve a reduction of CO2 emissions 55% 2030 and carbon neutrality 2050. China is by 2060. We have a difference of 10 years. So this is the research methodology, we take a case study, this is a building, timber building, all is wood, only wood. Then we do uh, environmental product declaration, technical data, cost estimation based on market research. We get surveys to understand what are the building components of the timber, how long does the timber live. Then we define the data processing using Energy Plus and Design Builder. The parameters of the study, shape, site, climate, energy characteristics, and so on, U-value, air tightness, window core characteristics. What are the design variables, timber technology, uh, external wall insulation, flat roof, photovoltaic integration, all that we integrated. And then we start to have an objective fun function focused on the kilogram CO2 emissions per year and the cost per square meter. Uh, we are using European standards 15804 and uh, 15978 to 52016 and the EPBD and we are using JP Plus with Python which is a parametric modeling software that can allow you to explore different solution space in the multi-objective optimization process. We only focus on seven design variables, we have only two objective functions and we have more than uh, 23 million uh, uh, simulations or solutions. Research link uh, UK uh, and China workshop on integrated sustainable technology uh, into design and um, strategy uh, community and uh, regression project. This is uh, for this is uh, and this is Professor Jian Kang, yeah. my supervisor. Uh, and then this is a, a more straight uh, form master, very, very high. Maybe, uh, for, um, and this is the um, the scale, and also for the uh, and this is the building building skin scale, building scale, and the building um, uh, block scale. Okay. Three three block, and, and this is another is for the uh, photovoltaic to get an energy and and that is the uh, building energy consumption. Mm, to so different uh, scale and different uh, and different design elements and the end so and and. Um, to, to work, collaborate as a team, yeah, 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 yeah. as professor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So One is the public service system, another okay. is the uh, uh, public health. Public health? Uh, yeah, yeah, M M medical. Okay. Medical. We combine to to do the research topic about the uh, health building. Okay, and number three? What? Architecture. Architecture. Ah, architecture. Public health and service. Yeah, yeah. Ah, and you are architecture. I'm the ma main master. Ah, I'm okay. the PI. The PI. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Yes. Building is civil engineering. Hmm. Civil, uh, civil engineering. Mm. Do you collaborate with them? Yeah, of course. Okay. And this is for the uh, China and the Europe um, energy. Ah, I took a picture. Yeah, yeah, of course. European High Horizon 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I saw it here. Yeah. Uh, energy, no? China, Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, clean and uh, um, renewable energy. Energy. Yeah, yeah. Collaboration. Also, you collaborate yeah, with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was the supervisor for this. Oh, uh, very good. Yeah, yeah. Joint. 
Very good. This university is very strong in engineering. Engineering. Yeah, of course. It's interview time. 我是李高梅，我来自华中科技大学建筑与城市规划学院。我是一名博士研究生。我是我是一名博士研究生。我的研究方向是建筑节能方向，主要做的课题是城市街区的建筑能耗、太阳能潜力和碳排放。做研究的
他需要，要么你领导别人，要么别人领导你，你他可以具备这些能力跟技能。学，在，华，中，大。The meaning is learning in the 华中 University of Science and Technology。因为华中科技大学的学习氛围特别好，他就是学在华中大，就是永远你是。Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, everyone. So that's it with today's visit to Wuhan and Huangzhou University. It was a very rich experience. I learned a lot. I enjoyed staying on campus, visited different uh, buildings, talked with many researchers. We developed already a new idea for a research proposal, so maybe I will come back to the city. Also, I would like to thank uh, Gao Mei Li uh, for hosting me and Professor Shen Xu. Uh, very interesting team. They are working on topics that are very co of common interest. The multi-objective optimization will continue working on it whether on the building scale, on the city scale, and definitely include broader aspects of climate change. Thank you for watching, thank you for following. See you in the next city. Bye-bye.